learn how to make some acorn squash stuffed with cauliflower rice and chicken and sausage. It's gonna be a great yummy recipe. I'm gonna take you step by step. I have all my ingredients here. Um, start off with a little bit of uh, how we're gonna prep the acorn squash. I already pre-cut them in half, they're a little difficult. My little partner here, Princess Elsa, is gonna help me. She's gonna scoop out the seeds from this acorn squash. With her spoon, take the spoon, you're gonna scoop it out. And then we're gonna put it all here on the, dump it on the plate when we scoop it out. Okay. So, the reason for scooping out the seeds is because we're gonna take these acorn squashes and we're gonna bake them inside the oven to get them nice and tender and crispy and caramelized. And it's great because you can even eat your bowl from your dinner. Let's clean up. Now, we're gonna take our pitted out acorn squash, no seeds, cleaned it, nice bowl shape, with some of our nice fancy olive oil. My little helper here is gonna brush it on there. She's gonna take the brush, put, dip it in the bowl, and then you're gonna brush the whole thing like you're painting it. You know, make sure you get a good coat of olive oil on it because that's a trick to getting it cooked right. And you keep like that, yeah, get some more. Don't be afraid, yep, there you go. And we cover the whole thing, the whole inside. The outside, you don't have to cover the, the green because of course, that doesn't matter. But you want to get a nice coat inside, don't be shy. And then we take them, we're gonna lay that right there. We gotta get the next one. Now we're sprinkling all the acorns with some salt. The salt is more for uh, cooking than flavor at this point. It doesn't, as it is gonna add a little bit of flavor, but it's more for cooking the inside. My little helper is doing it here, twisting it up. Once you get one done, you flip it face down. And once you get them all done, you throw them in the oven, 400 degrees, 20 minutes. See you in a little bit. Another little helper today. It's Princess Elsa Mini 2. It's Princess Anna. Princess Anna. So now what we're going to do, I got my cast iron really, really hot. That's always the trick of cooking in a cast iron. Get it as hot as you can. See a little light smoke? It's not too smoky, just a light smoke. I got some olive oil in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the chicken and sausage individually. And then what you do is you prep it. You'll cook it about three to five minutes on each side. It's depending on the size of your chicken and uh, your pan and how hot it is. But I say about three to five minutes each side, I'll have your perfect cooked piece of chicken inside. And I'm also going to cook breakfast sausage. That's a trick. A lot of people, the recipe calls for Italian sausage. Breakfast sausage is a trick. And I use uh, chicken maple breakfast sausage. It's yummy. See you guys when this part of the food is cooked. The is going to cook the sausages for us. I'm handing her. We went over our, our fire and heat safety protocols before we did the video. So she's well aware of distancing. And I also need to season my chicken that I didn't tell you that last time. So uh, garlic and pepper. And that's right here. And you gotta cook the chicken on a medium to medium high heat. If it's too high, it'll cook too fast. If it's too low, it'll cook too slow. And I think, oh, let it go. Look, well, we got three left, leave them all. Okay, put them on there, one at a time. Be careful, hot, make sure your hands are hot. And, the sausages, they're pre-cooked, so you really just cook them until they're nice brown and, uh, uh, you know, how you like them. Right now, you're about to, uh, about to put the garlic on the chicken. Um, this is all to uh, preference. I love garlic. You like garlic in your sauce? You put a little bit of extra. Yep, you see that the little ones are even telling you in Spanish, it's delicious. All right, see everybody in a few minutes. We're getting all our seasonings ready for the cauliflower rice and the meat mixture. We got some uh, rosemary. We got some thyme, ground sage, celery salt, parsley, nutritional yeast, oat milk, and ghee. And the chopped up onion. That's for that smelly stuff later. Now my little helper here, Elsa, is gonna pour the thyme, thyme on there for me. 
Okay, don't be afraid. This is all to taste. It says a tablespoon is all to taste. We like flavor. Don't be afraid how to mix it all up. Meat, the chicken and the sausage, the chicken's still cooking, but you cut it up into pieces because it all goes into the mixture. My helper here, I'm gonna demonstrate to her how to cut the sausage. Make sure your fingers are out the way and cut it into pieces like that. Now, can you go and show me and do it how you cut the sausage into pieces? There you go, good job. Remember, you gotta push down a little. There you go, now keep going. Let's cut, cut it into little pieces like that one. There you go, can you cut it some more? All right, look at that. Now we're gonna get the meat cut up. Once I get all the mixture ready to go in the pot, I'll show you. Acorn, a good, the way to do it, take a fork. The skin should be soft enough to be peeled. Oh, yep. The fork goes in, it's ready. So they're ready to come out. The skin gets pierced, you pull them out. The chicken's ready, come take a look at this chicken. Look how crispy this is. This is how I like the chicken here. Woo! It's a little popping and hot, but that's some crispy chicken. Okay, I'm gonna pour the onions in, but it might pop a lot, so stand right here. Okay, now we're gonna prepare the onions, the rice, and the seasoning mixture to put the meat in and throw inside the acorn. So this is a, a one whole onion, a small onion, about this large. Chop it up. We're gonna throw it into the frying pan with all the bits from the chicken and the sausage that are in there. My little trusty helper right here. She's gonna take this pan, this spatula, and I'm gonna scooch you a little bit over. Now, can you move that around for me, like this? Yeah. Now, the onion's gonna cook, get nice and fragrant, collect the flavors from the meat that was in there cooking. And then we're going to add our, um, put, put this down real quick. our prepared seasonings already from the list that we showed earlier. Can you pour this in here? Wait, no, let's let the onions cook a little bit more. I don't want to jump the gun. You want the onions to cook pretty good. So we'll let them sit for about a, for maybe a minute. You don't want them to get too burned, but you want them to get that nice flavor in them. Pretty hot already, so... Normally, if you have the pan a little lower, you would cook them longer, but the pan's pretty hot. So they get, they got, they're pretty cooked. Now we're going to add our plate of seasonings. You want to pour this in there? Sip it over. There we go. And then we take our cauliflower rice. I'm going to do it. Yes, you are. Yeah, okay, have this prepared. Hold on. There you go. Can you pour this in there? She's controlling my arm, making it pour. Using the force? Yes. All right. This goes in the trash. And you can technically use any rice you want, cauliflower rice, quinoa, regular rice. But we found out from different trials and errors that cauliflower rice works the best. This is helper number three right here. Senor Frog, but he's in a hibernation. He's like a frog bear dinosaur. So he pops out every now and then, but watch out. You might see him in the background. Then we got two tablespoons of milk. I already got it prepared. I pour it in here. Control with the force again. And now, turn it up a little bit higher than medium. You want this to cook, get in there. You're gonna cook it again in the broiler. I'm gonna set the broiler. It's not off, it's on. Oh, it is off, good eyeball. Look at that, that's why you need a partner. So turn that on, and then uh, set your boiler to low, and I'll get back to you when we combine all this stuff. Fresh out of the oven, got the nice little caramelized texture to it. Just gotta be very careful, it's hot. The inside, now is so soft, when you stuff it with your rice, Make sure that you just scoop up the inside with your food. That's how you get to eat your bowl. See how soft it is? Look at that. It just comes right off. That is so, it's like mashed potatoes. So now we got the 
chicken sausage rice mixture with everything you've done all together. What you do is you take nice heaping scoops of it and pack it in there. Don't be afraid. Pack that thing in there. And hold on, I need to change my oven. Make sure you get a nice even spread of the meat. You know, you don't want to short somebody's dish on the good stuff. So what I like to do is put one or two scoops in every one. And then I go around and pile them nice and high. And make sure you squish them in there. Don't be afraid to squish it down there. It's just more food. There's nothing wrong with good food. And then once I get these full and stacked, I stick them in a low broiler. Anywhere from three to five minutes or your preference of how crunchy you want it because it's going to get darker. So it's more of a preference, but I'll say uh, between anywhere between two and five minutes is probably your best bet. I'll show you the finished product when we're done. taste tester. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Gotta get a little bit of all the flavors. Mommy. Do you want to taste? No. So delicious. Perfect. It's like Thanksgiving. So good. So this is my lesson on how to make stuffed acorn squash with chicken and sausage rice. Took you by a step-by-step -step example, showed you all the ingredients needed, how to do it, how to use each individual one, and finally a video on what it tastes like was the final product. Thanks for watching the video.